Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be talking about user management, how to create new users, how to manage your users, and how to see who's registered for your site. So let's get started now. So now that we've talked a bit about content, publishing content, and sort of the workflow around that, oh, well, it's now time to talk about user accounts. For instance, in the last video, we wanted to talk about revisions, but we only had one user. So to get started, we want to head to people. And now people is where you will see anybody who is using your site as an account member. Now from here, we can add a user simply through an interface like we would have with adding content. So we could add in their email address here. We could say scott at leveluptuts.com and this can be scott. Now I can give this person a password for themselves and typically I would have this password be something like change me and let them know that this password needs to be updated. So you can make this password really super weak as long as the user knows that they need to make this a more secure password, especially if they're going to be an administrator. Now you'll see by default, their status is going to be active, which we want, and their role is just going to be authenticated user. Now the difference in this case between authenticated user and administrator is an authenticated user does not have access to see any of this administrative stuff. Now we could say, be an administrator, and notify them of a new account created. Now you might be wondering, I want them to be able to update and add posts or maybe even create posts, but I don't want them to have access to all this configuration stuff. Well, that's something we're gonna get into more with user roles in the next video. So as you can see, we can add them a picture if we'd like, contact settings, time zone, any of that stuff, and we can click create new account. Now, as you can see, uh, a welcome message has been delivered to that user, and if we go to people, you can see that Scott exists here. Now I'm going to head to our site in a non-logged in window. Now to log in, I'm going to go to slash user, or I would click the login link in the top right. Now as you can see, this page is create a new account, reset your password. If we were to create a new account, it would not give you the option of setting somebody as an administrator. Now, if we create an account through this interface, you could always come to your people, come here, edit, and then make them an administrator if you'd like. However, let's go ahead and log in as this user. I can say Scott and enter the password. And as you can see, this user has their own settings here. So their admin bar is all up here. They have access to everything you have access to as an administrator. Now if this account, let's go ahead and make them not an administrator. I'm going to save this. Now upon refreshing this page, you'll notice they don't have access to any of that. They have access to a My Account page, which is really just some really basic profile information, but no administrative tools. Okay, well, let's say you want them to have access to be able to create a new post, but not actually even publish it, just create it. Then another administrator will have to review and publish the post. In addition, you don't want to give them access to structure, appearance, extend, or any of this stuff, but you would like them to at least have this admin toolbar. Well, how do we go about accomplishing that? In the next video, we're going to be talking about user roles. We're going to create a new role, and we're going to assign some permissions to that role. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. If you want to get access to the rest of these Drupal Basics series, you can head to store.leveluptutorials or sign up to be a Level Pro and have instant access to all of the videos right now. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.